this is Fanbridge Marina. There's the yacht club over there. Not really interested in that. Now this has caught my eye. These are the salt marshes. Now I've fished over there a few times and I've had some nice skate but I've noticed that at high tide you get loads of fish in here a lot of mallet we're just up here you can see Portmore Cottage now there's a break in the wall you can see this, this channel here that's running see the, the old sea wall if you like but that, that trench that runs through there is quite deep just up here the water sort of sits before it breaches and makes its way into the old salt marshes. Now, I've sea fish already, but there's a lot of mullet here. Loads and loads of mullet. I'm not interested in the mullet. I'm not going to fish with the mullet. Now, I'm going to use a little popper. I've got these little poppers here. And I'm going to try and get them off the surface. So, This is all new for me, you know. I'm a course fisherman, really. Well, I used to be. So, we'll give it a go. And I'll see if I can get some uh, proper action of the fish actually taking the lure off the surface. Um, I might have to get my old pal Dave Parks over with a camera to track the popper so we can get some proper close stuff. But you can see here, just here as I said, that at low, low water, that's quite deep there. But actually there's probably eight foot of water there, just in there, there's a hole here, right sort of out there. Just before this, this sort of channel and it breaks through. It's just starting to break through now. Two comments. This is fish about. Right, so look, you can see already there's loads of fish milling about just here. Over there, look, you can see the, the little. They're all mullet. They're just waiting to go through here. Into here. And then. It breaches here and comes across. And then down and away into the old salt flats. So it goes down there and just fills the salt flats up. But even at high tide, you know, I mean, you can stand here, it's comfortable, and you can work all around here, right way around here. I had a few fish yesterday and I was getting them here off of the top of this mound. As that water was breaking and coming through here, I was just having a few. It was all right, it was a good day. So I bought the GoPro today and we'll see how it goes. But you can see, look, there's loads of mullet up here that just waiting to come into that channel. So you can see they're everywhere. Mullet, 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 all over the place. So what we'll do is uh, I'm gonna have to give it a half hour, 45 minutes before the water's in here really. I've got here a bit early just to uh, have a little look see. And I've got a little pop of that there, look. Pop. Pop. 
and that was getting them yesterday. They was having it. Proper coming out of the water after it, so hopefully today we can get some good footage. All right, we'll see you in a little while and uh, see how it goes. Right, <clears throat> right, we're about an hour later now. Um, there's a little bit more water in here. There's plenty of mullet coming through, no bass yet. I haven't seen any bass. I haven't had any tugs or any little uh, rises. So, what I'm going to try and do is just work the lure up that channel. You can see it spitting over there. And just up round to the right, I can see loads of fish. So I'm going to try and just have a little sneak over there and have a look. I know they're only mullet, but I just wanted to show you really. And then I'm going to have a little sit down for half hour see what's what. There's a few fish starting to mill about down there. But there's no water down there, it's not deep enough at the minute. You could see uh, where the old uh, sea wall's getting breached there now, look. Starts to push right through there. Now I know the upper centre of that channel is a good six, seven foot of water. over to this little pub area and uh, as you can see the water's now breaching through here quite nicely it's covered that mound here yeah, look this mound that was here it's all covered now it's probably about a foot of water over it so I'm gonna leave the camera running and just uh let's see what happens eh? we've got a little bullet pro on it's only six grams so I'm just going to bump it across here, and it's coming across that mound now. And then you've got that trench just there. Some weed. Trench. Hopefully, I'll get a few fish landing in them trenches. It'll jump up and whack it.
a little six grand bullet that cast in, I can't edit it out, especially with the wind as well, the wind's pushing from my left to my right. And this wind's come from it was lovely about an hour ago. Got a big tide as well today, five meters. So we're going to get pushed right up that bank. See, I've left a bag up there. Chances are I might even get a bit wet. And you think about it, you know, I'm six and a half foot that bag. I mean, it's going to be. 10, 12 foot of water? No, no. 8, 8 foot of water, 7, 8 foot of water. By the time that tide comes in. That's not fucking money, right? Box walked up. wind we've got a little bit of rain forecast today on hopefully I'll get away just before it comes
down the edge there, look. Right down the edge. One fish. Baby boy, man. God, come over and have a few of these. Look. These are only small. The ones I've been getting are bigger than this. I threw it over, look at that. A bit of sport. Beyond me, You'd like to be out there on a, in, in a little kayak, wouldn't you, really? You'd have to go all up the back there and just let the tide bring you back out again. Generally, you can see birds feeding and fish about. And I expected it would be a bit, bit better today, to be true, or with, especially with the high tide.
Oh, you see a quick little run there, look. It's been here 10 minutes, not even that. It's already gone down 6 to 8 inches.